We have a really special video planned up today because as you can tell in the background, there is a bunch of cabinets and all the inside interior stuff for the garage is finally here. As you guys saw about two months ago, Taylor Living came down here. We redid all the floors on the garage in a black marble look. Looks fantastic. But at the end of that video, I told you guys that we have cabinets, custom cabinets that are on the way and they are finally here and the installs going down today. While the guys at Taylor Living are putting some effort in the garage, Calvin and I are continuing. This is part two continuation of building out the office. If you guys didn't see in the last vlog, we <laughs> we put all these things up. And now so we have, ago. we still have two more. And we just hung, actually have one more. We just hung this one underneath the TV. Job done. We just connected everything to the back of the computer. We're gonna hang this one on the top. And then you guys saw that in the last vlog. And then we have a few pictures and frames to hang up and stuff. Piece by piece doing some home improvement. Very, very overdue home improvement mods. But the key is we're getting some stuff done. We just got the top one up there. I don't know if you could tell. It's a little crooked. A little crooked. It's a little crooked. But we have a paper mod that we can use to help the bracket. It doesn't make sense without explaining it, but that came out pretty good. We're just gonna adjust that so the right side is a little taller. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. So for those who don't know, this helps with sound deadening because this room is um, the size that it is. There's a really annoying echo whenever you're like speaking on camera or we're talking into a mic. It just sounds really bad because there's a really big echo. And this actually helps absorb sound. I doubt on camera you'll be able to pick up how it sounds. Actually, I can hear well, it a lot in person. I can hear when I talk into the sound button, the voice is just doesn't echo. It's all voice. And then as I come and speak across the room, it is a real Calvin's face is like really yeah over here. Yeah, over here there's really big echo. But again, as I talk in, and I'm not changing the volume of my voice at all. I'm not talking any differently. It just sounds a lot better. So really cool mod. It was relatively it cheap sick, online. Dude. You like it? Yeah, that was significant. I need that. Yeah, I think it was all, all of this was like less than 250 bucks. Nice. Something like that. I mean, it's not cheap, but it looks really good, which is the cool thing. It's a really cool like design, so. He's a carpenter. Just a good carpenter. It's stuck. Don't hit the wall too much. Call me Tim Allen from Home Improvement. You're right, ready? Tim Allen's an idiot. How? Don't ever disrespect my idol like that ever again. Here we go, Cal. Hey, brother. You're a carpenter. Look at that. Home Improvement man's just a good set of photos. That's awesome. One more to go. One more to go. That looks great. That looks so good. I'm so happy, so happy with that. What are you putting up there? We're gonna do um, the Aventador one. The one with right Todd? Here. No, right here. You're gonna put Todd's face on there? That's so sweet. Oh, that's not Todd. That's not Todd. I don't know where, I don't know if Big T's gonna make it. We'll find out. Hey, Big T's not gonna make it? I don't know. Can I get an F in the in the comment section for Big T? Right now, it ain't about you, baby. Okay, that looks phenomenal. The office is slowly coming together. Let's go get an update on the garage and see how the boys are doing. Oh, oh, ah! Uh. <laughs> Here we are on day number two of the install. And this is my favorite day because this is the day the cabinets are gonna get finished up and we're gonna have the garage looking perfect for the first time. As you guys know, Tamar Living did the epoxy floors in the garage and the ones doing the cabinets here in the garage. If you guys are interested in getting this done for your house, go to TamarLiving.com, I'm gonna link them down below. They have tons of different locations scattered throughout the whole entire US. And there's one close to me, which is Tamar Living North County, which that's what I have here, but they are a one-stop shop for everything house related if you want storage in your house, closet room in your house, garage door in your house, anything you want for your house, they could do it. So I'm going to link them down below and big shout out and thank you to Taylor Living for bringing my garage to life.
Two days later, the garage is finished. This looks incredible. Let me show you guys. This is the garage that I picture in my head when I think of something that is like something you dream about as you go to sleep as a kid, being like one day, one day, when I own all the cars I wanna own, I'm gonna have the most best looking home garage with mirror-like floors, flawless cabinets, you got a desk, you got a spot to hang your bikes, and then you even got a shoe cabinet so you don't have to put your boots on the floor. I have to say, Taylor Living North County absolutely killed it. Now I'm gonna walk through and show you guys uh, all the little cool features that all of this stuff has and pick and tell you guys why I picked every single thing that we have and show you how I'm gonna organize everything because we still got a mess over there and I kinda have been doing a little stuff behind the scenes. I already started putting some of our stuff in the cabinets. Let's start by the garage entrance of the door and work our way back. So right as you come out the garage, this is the door that leads to the hallway of the house. The first thing you see are these two cabinets. This initially is our design, so we can put shoes here and not have them stacked on the ground. Uh, one little feature that you'll notice too is all the cabinets here are hanging. The hanging cabinets are for a few reasons. One, it doesn't allow any rats or any animals or any insects to get inside anything. And two, in case we ever have a flood or that water heater breaks and floods the garage, it won't ruin everything that the cabinet touches. That safe is uh, that safe's gonna get ruined. But everything else should be good. I don't know what I'm gonna put in this side yet. Sabrina doesn't really put her shoes in the garage, so I'm not quite sure. But I put um, a little bit of America here on the shelves, and that's just, that's where that is gonna live. I thought it'd be a really cool place to put my safe right here. Uh, I didn't really know where I was gonna put it, but I think it kind of fits in really well. And then I got this really cool box not too long ago. It's actually a Pelican case, but it's used for, er yeah, vault by a Pelican, but it's used for ammo. And I don't remember why or how, but Super Street and McGuire's did a collab and I was able to snag one of these little boxes. So I think that's really, really cool. Now this is not gonna be my primary garage. Something that I haven't talked about too much in the videos is the new garage that we're building on the house. That's not this one, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stuff that one down. I'm not ready to tell you guys about that. Working on cars and wrenching on in this garage setup is not my primary focus. Although I do have a set of tank tools coming that's gonna go over there. And we still might do the occasional oil change or coilover install or something like that in this garage. It's not my main focus. So you'll notice there's a lack of tool cabinets and stuff like that. I just wanted to address it. This is mainly for just like home storage type of junk. Um, like my set of golf clubs and my hockey bag and my hockey sticks, kind of stuff like that. I really wanted to make sure that I could hide all of the junk so that when I have cars in here, all of the extra things that are just sitting on cabinets can all be tucked away so it looks clean. I want this to be super aesthetically pleasing. This makes me happy. Talking about aesthetics, Taylor Living did no shortcuts. They have aluminum grip handles that add a really nice accent feature. And all of these cabinets and drawers have like the soft toss. So when you throw it in, it closes super soft. And when I want to slam a drawer, it stops and goes in super nice. Followed by the stainless steel countertop. Looks beautiful now, but this is gonna get a ton of handprints on it, which is something we're just gonna have to deal with. They even have a little soft light in here, which is pretty neat. So you just touch it, light goes on and off. A few little features that they have in the slot wall and you could buy tons of features on their website. You just kind of pick this up and then you could snap it right back into place. This is a thing for paper towels. You have a little basket and a little magnetic holder. If you have any tools, you can throw that on there. I need to figure out where I'm gonna put all this stuff. I haven't quite figured it out yet. What's great is that we're still gonna have a ton of room even when I throw all my stuff in here. There's so much space to put things. I was actually a little worried. It might not be enough, but now that I've started to put my stuff in it, I'm like, wow, there's actually a ton of space in here. But I've kind of decided the left-hand side is where I'm gonna put most of my car products, car stuff, things like that. Like the 
race cans that hold gas and some oil and my Valvoline stuff. And then mainly here, this is gonna be my little Meguiar's shrine. I'm, I'm gonna get like 10 of each of these products so we can stack it here to get tons of towels so we can always have product on lock when we want to wash a car. This slot rack is so cool. One, because it allows me to hold my bike. But the coolest thing about these slot racks that I've never seen before. So you put your bike on here and it actually allows you to turn it, which if any of you own a mountain bike, hanging these things, they just take up so much space. And there's not a really good way to do it unless you wanna get like a hoist or put it up tall. But this actually allows the space to go from like sticking out almost four feet to when you tuck it in, it actually only hangs out like literally half as much, two and a half feet. So that's great. I love that. I can put another bike on there. And again, just like the other slot wall, I can buy accessories. We can hang whatever we want right here. Okay, Kevin just got here. I just threw this in the garage. I want to get his reaction to seeing the garage for the first time. You just had to flex on everybody in the world like this. I didn't mean to. Look at this. I pull up and it's like, it's like we're about to be in F10, bro. Dang! How good does that look? Wow! No way. That's tight. That's nice. You act like you're gonna use this table. <laughs> it's too clean. You ain't gonna use this. I know that, dude. The moment you touch it, it's gonna be screwed. Oh, wow. I don't know what I'm gonna mm -hmm. put. There's just a chair in there. You just let's stick it in there. It's just a chair. There's more things in here. There's gonna be so much storage. Oh! Foam cannon mounted on the wall. Oh, yeah. I want it like a vacuum mounted on the wall so that we can just use them yeah, yeah, whenever yeah, yeah. and however. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that makes it. This makes the space so much. I don't know how to explain it. Better. Yeah. It's like all put together now. Before it was just like space. Space we put the lights in. What lights? Oh, I didn't tell you? No. I balled out and got a bunch of like obsessed garage. Uh, so yeah. I, uh, 12, six bulb LEDs we're gonna put in here. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Yeah, this is, this is sick. Just finished putting all the cars in. I know there was gonna be people who were like, Teeth, we need to see the garage with all the cars in. Things fit super nice. One thing that I'm really excited about is I'm parked pretty close to the front here of the garage and there is Tons of room in the back. That's just, we got lucky with the house. This garage is like so obnoxiously large. I don't know if you'll ever be able to see that if you're not here in person. Even with the doors swung out, you could still comfortably pass through everything. There's no issues. And I could back these cars up even more. That was a super long day. I'm exhausted. But I want to thank Table Living again. Thank you so much. If any of you guys need any overhaul, whether it's inside your house or you're looking for the garage package, you can click the link down below in the description and, and it will take you to Table Living where they actually have a landing page just for us. So if you're curious about anything, go there. It will answer all of your questions. We will need to have them back out to do another section of the house very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one. Peace out and keep moving forward.